We had a uh, very intense, I, I have to add also a constructive meeting with the Chancellor Go uh, this morning. It was uh, the, the, the fourth uh, regular uh, session of the Joint Committee, which I have to uh, underscore once again uh, is the body uh, where we should uh, resolve uh, our differences, where we should look for the common solutions, and which is uh, responsible for timely and proper implementation of the uh, withdrawal agreement. And this is what we have been uh, debating, debating this, this morning. I have to say that uh, we are advancing very well if it comes to the citizens' rights. So I think that after this morning discussion, I think we have a good message uh, for more than 4 million of uh, EU and UK citizens uh, that if it comes to resident schemes and if it comes uh, to, to their rights, uh, that uh, uh, we are progressing in that way, that they shouldn't worry and that we will be able to deliver on what was uh, promised uh, to them when we've been signing uh, the a withdrawal agreement. We, of course, uh, spent uh, quite some time on the proper implementation of the protocol on Ireland and uh, Northern uh, Ireland. There, of course, the situation is uh, much more complex. Uh, I think that uh, what uh, we uh, covered today was clearly a demonstration that we can find uh, the solutions in uh, the frame of the Joint Committee if there is uh, the common dedication, if there is political will, and uh, if uh, there is uh, that uh, intensity and intensif intensification added uh, uh, into our discussions on uh, these extremely complex but at the same time very important issues. I was explaining once and again that uh, what is uh, crucial for the European Union is the full respect uh, uh, of the Good Friday Belfast Agreement, that we want to do our utmost to make sure that we would uh, maintain peace, but also all island uh, economy prosperity. Therefore, we went to such a great length to, to define uh, that uh, uh, special conditions in the visible agreement uh, uh, for the Northern Ireland. And I believe that it's our common task uh, uh, to make sure that we will operationalize uh, the withdrawal agreement, and then we find the solutions how this would work uh, uh, as, it, uh, as it should. So what we concluded uh, this morning was uh, that we are going to, I would say, redouble of our efforts uh, uh, and work uh, for the solutions. So we would have uh, much higher frequency on uh, debating outstanding issues linked uh, with, uh, with, uh, the, with the protocol and with all the, the issues which the protocol is covering and uh, all other outstanding decisions which have to be adopted uh, uh, before the end of the year. Just for the com completeness of the information, there are such a seven uh, decisions, including, for example, the list of arbitrators, which we need, of course, uh, to approve before the 1st of January of the next year. And the plan is that we would uh, remain in frequent touch uh, with the Chancellor Go, that we would provide uh, adequate political steer, and that we should see each other by mid-November, because we still need some time to process uh, what I believe would be uh, positive de decisions uh, by, our, um, uh, by our respective uh, processes, be it uh, within the EU or in uh, the UK. And, of course, uh, if it comes uh, to the in internal uh, market bill, I think that uh, you are very, very informed that we started uh, uh, legal action. We started the infringement procedure on the internal market bill. We uh, consider that controversial uh, articles uh, in breach of uh, uh, withdrawal agreement, uh, uh, I would say in the breach of trust, and uh, uh, therefore we had uh, to proceed with the, with the legal action. At the same time, I want to say that also this morning discussion showed that if we put our minds into it, I believe that we can solve uh, the issues in the framework of the Joint Committee and definitely on the side uh, of the European Union, we are going to do uh, our utmost uh, uh, to achieve that. Okay, thank you very much. We try once again to go to Jacopo.